1960 international pace at Yonkers. Roosevelt had the international trot. It was only right that Yonkers come up with an international race. And they took the pacers. Was the international pace as competitive as the international trot? Yes, it was. Uh, uh, they all, you know, the pacers all came from uh, New Zealand and Australia. Right. So we took it in the world, really, with mm -hmm. international trot and international pace. And they could go distance over there, well-trained, and uh, they come over here and beat us. In the international events, because that they were at a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half, did the foreign horses have an advantage? Not really. If we trained ours for it, we could go as fat, far as they could. But mm -hmm. they, could, they could go good, and they were well-trained horses. They could get away good. They were just uh, absolutely good horsemen over there. And, which showed when they come over here, they'd beat the bye-bye birds and some of ours. In 1960, you were driving a pace for the name of O'Brien Hanover. That's right. He'd won the messenger and was a hard-hitting horse. Won about $300,000 in his life. And pretty good for a horse that cost about $5,000 to but sell. Delvin Miller did not win the 1960 international pace at Yonkers. The winner will be Howard Beisinger driving Widower's Creed in another great moment from Harness Racing. The International Pacing Series gets underway and Yonkers' largest weeknight crowd ever turns out for the first race. The Australian wonder horse, Fettel, is scratched, but it's a distinguished field of seven with New Zealand's pride, Caduceus, number two, going into the lead at once. In the back stretch on the second circuit of the track, O'Brien Hanover leads. But from next to last, Widower Creed, number six, begins an amazing surge. Driver Howard Beisinger sends Widower's Creed past one horse after another at a phenomenal clip. Number six is in first place and still going strong. On the third and final time round, Widower's Creed still leaves by a length and a half. O'Brien Hanover second. Widower Creed wins and ties the world record for a mile and a half pace, 3.04 and three-fifths.